Hi, welcome to the first show of A-Town Live. I'm one of your hosts, Emily Pellegrino. It's been a busy three weeks, but we finally have the show up and running. Now time for you guys to meet your second host. Hi, my name is Mariah Poole and I'm your second host. In this week's show, we'll be covering topics ranging from SAT, cooking, and sports. First off, we have Tully Hansen giving us an update on field hockey starting. Tigrone, I'm part of the field hockey team. I'm number one. I play mid, left mid, and I love the sport and I'm excited for this season. Woo! I'm Emily Nolan. Uh, I play field hockey too. I am the left <laughs> And I'm number 17 and I'm really excited for this season. Woo! I'm Natalie Moyo and I play right mid. I'm number 13 and I'm super excited for this season and we won't let Corona get in our way. As most of you know, the football field is getting redone. Chris Gall and Jake Searing got some video of the work being done today. The football team will also be having their first scrimmage this Friday, playing against Heightstown. And finally, for sports updates, we have some members of the cross-country team telling us about their upcoming season. My name is Eli, and I really hope COVID doesn't affect this season too badly. My name is Aiden, and I think cross-country is very informative about running. My name is Braden DeGrazia. I run cross country at Allentown High School. Uh, something that I really like about cross country is the fact that we're a really close knit team and that it's a really enjoyable environment when we all run together and we all bond together. So that's one thing that I like about cross country. Good luck to all of our sports teams on their first games and meets of the year. Now we have Taylor who will be cooking something up for us today. Hi, I'm Taylor. And today I am going to show you guys how to make this easy back to school snack that you can make on the go so you won't be late to your next online class. So we are going to make a two ingredient mug cake. What you will need is five Oreos and three tablespoons of milk. First, crush the Oreos with a fork in a decent sized mug suited to your fitting. Once the Oreos are crushed, add three tablespoons of milk and mix well. Place your mug in a microwave for one minute. Now this next part you can skip and just eat it as is. But what I like to do is add vanilla ice cream with some crushed Oreos and some sprinkles. Quick, easy, and delicious. My next class sure will be great with this awesome mug cake. Wednesday, September 23rd was the first SAT of the year. Rebecca Jordan will be showing us the 10 steps she took before taking the SATs and interviewing some people after they took it. So how do you think you did on the SATs? I, don't, I mean, I think I did pretty well. I'm like the English was harder than when I first took it, but I thought the math was a lot better. I think I did really good. I finished the test, so I think I, I think I did well. The questions were about the same from the last time I took it, like a couple months ago. 
So how'd you prepare for the test? Um, I actually didn't because I already took the SAT, so I was like just doing this one for fun. Um, I looked at a bunch of like SAT like testing books, like some from the school and some I found online, and I asked a couple of friends who already graduated like some tips and tricks about the SAT and stuff like that. Did you decide to do the essay section? Uh, no, I didn't. Because I felt that, you know, like the extra hour of my time, you know, I really didn't want to be there. And plus, some colleges are already test optional. And, and how do you think the social distancing and everything was with Corona for the test? Did you feel comfortable in the classroom? Yeah, I felt like pretty comfortable because like no one was wasting my time. Like I just wanted to leave, like people were just being quick. I don't want to be there longer than I had to, so I actually thought it was pretty nice. Thank you for watching the first episode of A Town Live.